Hydrovacking, one of my favorite hobbies when I'm not building cool stuff with you. This is an industry that uses high pressure water combined with vacuums to be able to effectively and safely excavate the ground and also clean stuff too, but mostly it's used for excavation. In my particular case, as an operator, I use it to expose different kinds of utilities like gas, electric, and of course, internet cables that might be buried under the ground that need work. And usually when I'm called to the scene, it's because of something being broken really badly or water spewing out in the middle of the city and everyone's crying, oh my God, please help me, please help me. And I'm like, I'm here to dig a hole, a really big hole. And, and typically it works out really well. The tools that we use though, haven't really changed too much over the years. And they have some really negative effects like your vibrations that you're subject to can really hurt your hands, elbows, and arms. And also they can be really loud and splash in your face, making you get all kind of mud bath. But my fellow operators, it doesn't always have to be that way. A company has risen from fellow hydrovacers to create something that's quite revolutionary. What is it? The Dig Pig Silencer. And this tip here is going to completely revolutionize the industry. How? Well, let's get down to the workbench and open up our package. And boom, there we have it, the Dig Pig Silencer in all of its glory. And the first thing you might notice about this one is it's a little bit beaten up around the cover here. And that's because over the last couple of weeks, I've been giving this thing absolute hell to see if it can meet the expectation and hype surrounding it. And uh, spoiler alert, it absolutely does. This thing is an absolute feat in engineering and a revolution to the non-destructive digging category of hydro nozzles. This guy right here can do crazy stuff. And we're gonna get into it right now, starting with durability. The Dick Pig Silencer is almost completely made of 303 stainless steel, and this high impact nylon plastic is one of the hardest I've ever seen. And let me show you what I mean by that. This right here is a traditional nozzle, and these are some very sharp tweezers. I can take uh, my tweezers here and very easily put them into the coating of this other nozzle and it stays pretty easily. Whereas with the dig pig one, um, we can put a lot of pressure into it and it doesn't really wanna stay. As a matter of fact, it's bending my tweezers. That is how crazy hard this stuff is. Also, if we take my tweezers here, we can put them into the tip here and it goes right about there. We got about an inch of protection between the actual orifice and the tip here. Whereas the traditional tip is, uh, well, you can see the little spinner right there, but it's, uh, well, not very much at all, which means that this guy has a lot more protection going down to the actual spinner inside than any of the other ones I've seen so far. Let's go ahead and open this up and see what the inside looks like. Uh, typically, this little part here would be attached to your wand, so we'll just go like this. Boom. And boom. That's it. Here's your little rotor, does all the business end. And again, everything in here is completely metal, which is crazy. Even the rotor here is almost completely made out of metal with the exception of this little high impact nylon plastic here. And then of course that little washer, but you already knew that. Now, one thing I wanna to touch on real quickly here is this little carbide here on the end. This little hole is known as the orifice hole. This is a number 10 tip. So this is a number 10 size orifice hole. If a 12 would be here, it would be a little bit bigger. A four would be smaller. But what's really interesting about this right here is that typically on a normal hydrovac nozzle, the entirety of this little bubble here is completely hollowed out. Whereas with the Dig Pig silencer, we can actually put this right here and you can see that it's completely straight, meaning that this particular carbide is stronger than any of the ones in the industry, period. Go to your truck right now, go open it up and take a look at your tip. You'll notice that this little bubble here is completely hollow. So this being made solid all the way through, it's a no brainer, it's stronger. Uh, it's, it's just stronger guys, it's, it's way stronger and it's gonna last you a lot longer. What's also interesting about the whole Dig Pig silencer is that they don't actually sell rebuild kits. Yeah, I know. They sell refresher kits because the entirety of this thing is meant to last way longer than any of the traditional nozzles out there in the industry. What's really neat about this as well is you can order individual parts instead of buying the entire refresh kit if you just have one part break. Another really cool feat. 
Which actually brings me to another point. This is the first tip in our industry that actually is numbered with each individual piece, meaning that you can track this across different trucks. You can track the amount of usage if someone's using more tips than others or someone's going through more refresher kits than others. You can know all this information as well. It's a great thing for warranty. And one thing I have found is that both in warranty and customer service, DigPig outdoes everybody. If you have a problem with your nozzle, and I don't think you are, you're gonna be able to get somebody on the phone and they're gonna be able to help you figure the whole thing out almost instantly, which is a wicked thing to be able to have. And with the individual numbering, this means that as an operator, if you purchase one, you don't have to worry about somebody taking it off your truck. You can know which one it is just by opening up and taking a look at it, which is an awesome piece to think about. So not only are they numbered, not only is the entire thing almost completely made out of steel, this thing here is built a lot better. So overall, the durability of this particular tip is insane. And the fact that the whole thing is made out of metal is a no brainer. It's stronger than any other tip in the industry. And when it comes to putting this back together, it's even easier. You put it on top here and then we just go with this, we wait for a click, just like that. And now we can turn it into place. Another really cool point when it comes to durability is how this whole thing is filtered. Now at the top here, if we take off our ORB, which is an awesome piece, by the way. This is designed by Dig Pig themselves. It has a little washer here. It just feels so premium. It feels, again, way better than any of the ones I've actually ever held before. And they're engineered not to be used with monkey wrenches, but to be used with your normal adjustable wrench, making them a lot safer. You're not worrying about busting any of your knuckles like you have before. These guys right here are just significantly better. Now, one thing that's really neat about this tip here is it has a really cool filter coin. The filter coin is meant to come out almost daily so that you can keep any of the debris that might find its way into the wand or through your water pump, depending on how old your truck is. I find that this screen is significantly better than those little pipe screens you get to fish out with your pinky finger. This guy is just heftier, better, and so far has blocked everything going into the nozzle. This thing is super clean. And again, the things that I've put it through, <laughs> I'm surprised it's clean. So the thing is incredibly well built and super strong. How does it do in performance? Well, that's a great question. First time I fired this thing on the end of my wand and turned on the water, I was almost completely blown away by the amount of pressure I had. Typically on my truck, I operate my hydrovac nozzles at about 2,600 to 2,800. With this particular tip, that was just way too much pressure. You, you don't need it. Uh, with this particular tip, I found that about 1,600 to 1,800 seemed to be the optimal operating range of it. However, it is marked to go from 1,000 to 4,200 PSI. Yeah. I don't know who would operate it at 4,200 PSI, but if you wanted to be that crazy operator, you definitely could. And because it's made completely out of metal, it can also take more heat, anywhere between 60 and 96 degrees, which I think is just a couple degrees below steam, which is insane. However, I haven't had the time to actually test the heat of this because unfortunately my boiler has been broken, but I have been able to see how this acts in super hard ground, mostly frozen ground. And to be honest, that's where this thing exceeds. I have never seen a tip so hungry for hard dirt than this guy right here. And again, that right there is with 1,600 to 1,800 PSI. That, that is crazy to see that kind of penetration with a tip not having any heat in frozen ground. And I have found that personally, I've been able to outdig other operators when I've been showing up to emergencies, being able to do water excavations in about 45 minutes. That's super impressive. Now, I know that also comes down to the operator's ability to be able to use a tip, but still, this thing is just incredibly hungry for dirt. So we have more pressure and heat options than most tips in the industry. But two other features we need to talk about is a significantly less vibration and sound that you'll receive when using this tip. And that's because of the design and of course, less PSI that we're using. I can't tell you how weird it was to actually have this thing operating about 1600 PSI and feeling almost no vibration in my wand. Yes, there's still some, but it's significantly less than any other tip I've used, period. Hands down, no question about that. As well as when it comes to the sound. Now, if you're using a newer Hydrovac, you know that for the most part, they can be 
pretty quiet nowadays. And you mostly just hear the tip going and it sounds like a big bunch of bees are coming out of you and all the people in the neighborhood are screaming, looking around for a hornet's nest. Well, the reality is that's not the case with this particular tip. Everything is really, really well done and super quiet. You still need to wear hearing protection, of course, but when you compare it to other ones, it's really a no-brainer. It's called a silencer for a reason. It's pretty quiet, which that brings me down to my thoughts. When the Dig Pig silencer showed up at my door for the first time, I was extremely excited to attach it to the end of my wand and see what it could do. I was immediately impressed by the amount of strength that came out of it. And like I said earlier, I had to go back and actually turn down the water almost immediately to see if I could figure out uh, what would be the optimum pressure. When I found that it was about 1,600 to 1,800, I really couldn't believe it. I mean, most tips definitely need to be in that 2,800 range to do any kind of damage to the ground. It's just not the case with this. And the significantly less vibrations that I was feeling in the wand was a big relief. As you know, that is one of the biggest complaints that most hydro backers have when it comes to digging. Their hands become numb after a while. It's almost like riding a motorcycle and not wearing any kind of protective gel gloves. This guy right here has significantly less fatigue, especially for the operator. And with its construction being so solid, you're gonna be using significantly less rebuilds, or I should say refresher kits, than other ones out in the industry. This one here is really a tip made for hydro vacuers, and I've handed this to both experienced and non-experienced vacuers, and they've said the same thing. They are immediately impressed by the way it digs and how crazy strong it is when it comes to putting it into the ground. Unlike most tips in the industry, when it comes to using a silencer, you can put it right into the ground and bash it around a little bit around the walls if you need to, where typical hydrovec nozzles need to be kept out of the ground and you definitely don't want to smash any rocks with them. They're kind of like using a Faberge egg to dig. And that's just simply not the case with this one. And that's why I think that so many hydro vacuers are gonna be switching over to these tips in their truck. It's really a no brainer. You don't have to worry about handing over your brand new wand to your swamper and worrying about them destroying the tip before you even have a day out of it. This guy right here can handle almost everybody. And if anything, I'll be impressed when it actually breaks because I wanna see what is the straw that will break the camel's back. Finally, if you're in the hydro vac sewer or non-destructive digging field and you've been looking for a tip that's gonna outperform form and outlast any of the ones on the market, I don't think you have to look further than the Dig Pig Silencer. It really is that good. And I'm confident that when you put one of these on the end of your wand and start using it, you'll be saying the same thing. Have you used the Dig Pig Silencer? Let me know your experience down below. I would love to know about it. And if you're new here, go ahead and press subscribe. It's got all kinds of really cool stuff coming out in the future, and I would love to have you there. Thank you so much to Dig Pig for sending me the Dig Pig Silencer to test out and let me have my own honest opinion with you. These guys have been really awesome to work with and I hope I get to check out some other products in the future from them to be able to share it with you guys at home. Until next time, keep building. All right, now you're going right back into the wand. We got some digging to do.